Welcome, everybody. I'm Rascal, and thanks for joining me in the Basement Arcade. Today, I'm going to go over a few tweaks and tips for CoinOps Legends 3 for the Steam Deck. Many of you have watched my original install and review video, and thank you for everybody who has and the feedback you provided. But there's a couple of things I think needed to be added uh, since then. One, I mistakenly gave everybody the long way around to quit a game uh, that you're playing. So once you're playing a game in um, you know, coin ops, it's very easy to get out of the game. Let me go ahead and show you a screenshot here. As you see here on the uh, Steam Deck picture there, I've circled two buttons. Those are known uh, more commonly as the View on the left and the Menu button on the right. So by pressing View and Menu, that goes ahead and brings up uh, the way to exit a game properly in coin ops. Uh, those two buttons are also available on any Xbox controller. You can see them mirrored right there. Uh, let's see, go that way and that way. So those two buttons right there will go ahead and get you out of a game. So sorry to you know give you guys a run around on that one, but this is the official way to exit a game. Now there's two other things that came up that uh, people have been talking about. I mentioned scan lines. Uh, scan lines are you know, on there to give you the authentic look of the arcade by default. I didn't like them. Um, you know, you got a re really sharp display here on, on the Steam Deck, so I wanted to get rid of those. I also found some comments in the Discord, and I want to give credit to the Discord for some of the images I'm going to show on this, about smoothing. Uh, all of these can be corrected or changed, I should say, in the MAME.ini file. Let me go ahead and jump over to... Well, first let me show you a screenshot of the smoothing, what I'm talking about. What you see on the left there is with some of the smoothing uh, settings turned on uh, inside CoinOps. Now, smoothing is you know there to show easy, you know smoother transitions as you're watching a video. So... While I'm you know, showing you how to change it, I'm not saying one way or the other is the best. Uh, the image on the right-hand side was done from Emulation Station, showing the exact same game, but without the smoothing effects turned on. So what I'm going to show you, uh, besides how to turn off scan lines, is how to alter that. So let me go ahead and get us over to full screen, look at my Steam Deck. What we're looking at here is the MAME.ini file. This can be found, let me show you. If you go into your uh, CoinOps Legends 3 uh, folder, whatever you've named it, go into Emulators, and then go into MAME. Inside here, you will find the MAME.ini file. Let me scroll down, and there it is. So you can open it up. I've already done that because I wanted to resize the text. What I want you to do is search for GLSL underscore shader, and there are three settings there um, that you want to go ahead and just comment out if you want to get rid of the scan lines. So you would go ahead and just put a number sign or hashtag there. Do the same thing there and on the third line. The other ones will not affect anything. And as for the um, filtering that we saw for the smoothing, that could be changed right here. All you would do is change these default settings from one and one to zero and three. When you're done, you can go ahead and just save the file, exit out of the editor, and you've made the corrections. I did originally have another fix to share with people. There is a, a, a bug in um, Discover. That is the utility inside the desktop mode right here, where you can go add, update, and remove programs. It's still popping up an error right now about a repository related to Legends 3. However, it is no longer breaking the functionality of Discover. So the cool scripts that I just wrote a week ago to kind of temporarily get rid of that error let you, you know, uninstall your apps and then uh, reinstall them. No longer necessary. So I think that may have been updated in a recent version of 
the Steam OS because I did see the update come out last week. So, gang, that is really all I've got today. A quick and easy tweaks and tips that I've learned so far uh, having to do with coin ops on the um, Steam Deck. When they have a new version or some other updates, I will be sure to go ahead and post something for you guys. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I really appreciate everybody's comments and feedback on the first video. Really, really has been strong, and I appreciate it. So guys and gals, thanks for joining me, and I will see you on the next video.